Hey guys, so if you have watched my story, then you know about like all of my skin issues and things like that. I recently just did a post on my Instagram about rosacea. Please read the caption and then there's another bit in the comments because it was a long caption. Um, but please read that before this video because that's the background of figuring out what kind of rosacea you have and how it's triggered to how we're going to treat it. And this video is how I've been treating it myself to the point that it's literally 90% better. I get a flare up like maybe once a week and I can pinpoint it down to what food it was that gave it to me. But something that really kills me that I just want to quickly touch on is the fact that the diagnosis is incurable. It is just the worst feeling when someone tells you that something that's wrong with you that not only is painful, but is also just controls your life because it's emotionally exhausting, feeling like your cheeks are on fire and burning at random times of the day and you just can't figure out why. But being told it's incurable is so daunting so upsetting and also when you're 23 you don't want to be told you have an incurable disease so for everyone that's watching this i don't know your situation i don't know what kind of rosacea you have but i know the way that that diagnosis made me feel and i just want to be here to tell you that there are ways to treat it i don't believe it's incurable i believe anything that can get into the body can get out and i just want to tell you that i am here with you on this journey. I got told I had rosacea acne, which basically is a type of rosacea that goes really, really red and burny and then comes out in these little postules that are usually white filled, kind of like acne. That was two years ago. The acne is so much better. Woohoo! Like so much better. But I still do get rosacea every now and then. When I first started with rosacea, I had it every day. If you watch my first ever video on YouTube, you'll see this, but I couldn't leave the house, it was summer in LA, and I was there with my boyfriend and I would sit and I would cry. It was literally, my cheeks felt like they were burning off. And anyone that has rosacea knows this feeling and it's exhausting. And it's not just blushing, like it's red and it hurts. Like it's inflammation, it's heat. Literally ruined my self-confidence because whenever I'd go to work, any makeup that I put on, oh my gosh the red would just start coming through and I swear my face would start melting, I'm not even kidding. So that was when I went on my mission with my health and I started with the herbs for my skin and my acne, but the rosacea was still always underlying and I just couldn't figure out why and it just didn't make any sense to me. The way that I treated my rosacea, first things first, please figure out what kind of rosacea you have because there's lots of different ones and not everyone's treatment is going to be the same. Number one, I figured out the trigger. So my trigger is small intestinal bacterial overgrowth. So that is basically where bacteria has crawled up into the small intestine where it's definitely not meant to be. It's meant to be in our large intestine. But when our gut gets all trashed from me taking a bazillion antibiotics and all different medications that's what happens they go looking for a new home that is more habitable that is like hawaii in the summertime they're like i'm gonna live in the small intestine so that's what they do and they're not meant to be there so that means when you eat certain foods which is a lot of foods you get bloating you get gas you get constipation sometimes diarrhea swapping between all two sorry for the information you look like you're six months pregnant and that's kind of that and it's painful again. And then after the bloating, you get the rosacea and mine usually starts just here on this cheek and it goes to my chin. And then if it's really bad, it goes on my whole face and my chest. I'm always a little bit red here, if you can see, which I think it's actually stress. I need to go and meditate. Basically, I figured out that mine was linked to SIBO. Now, if you look at Dr. Amy Myers, she's awesome. And a lot of other doctors that I've actually personally worked with, they talk about the SIBO rosacea connection. And what that basically means is when your small intestine is aggravated, all the different foods that like you're eating that is interacting with the SIBO, it creates heat and heat travels upwards. It also creates damp. And we don't want heat and damp, which is what a lot of us have in our bodies that lead to a lot of different skin conditions traveling up and coming out of our skin. We also have to remember that our skin is a detox organ. Your body is in this constant state of like, this isn't how it's meant to be, so I want to push it out. And if it can't push it out through acne, if it's not bacteria, if it's just heat, 
it's literally just going to travel upwards and it's going to push it out any way that, it, that they can. And unfortunately, that's usually out of our face. So my biggest tips for rosacea. Number one, cut all fragrance preservatives out of your skincare. You guys have noticed recently that I have been trialing different skincare. That was because I wanted to try a skincare with no preservatives. The reason I haven't posted about it is because I want to see if it genuinely works for my skin and what is best for me before I start recommending things. The second thing is what are you eating? 45% more likely to have SIBO if you have rosacea. So if I was you, I'd probably go get a test and you know, they do breath tests and super helpful. And then with SIBO, they always suggest low FODMAP. They are foods that are basically super, super easy on your digestion that are gonna cause less irritation, specifically for the small intestinal bacterial overgrowth. The next thing that I find super, super, super important is I get triggered if I'm in a really stale room where there's smoke, if I'm cooking, just make sure you have a window open. Smoke is such a massive irritant for me. It's so frustrating. The next thing is stress. When we get stressed and we produce cortisol, which is the bugbear of most of our health problems, all that does is create more internal heat, mess with our other hormones and create more rosacea. Stress is such a massive trigger, which is hard because we are in a society that most of the time is quite stressful. So I find meditation has literally saved the game for me. And the last thing is rosacea. When I work with my kinesiologist and all of other spiritual, beautiful beings in my life, rosacea has a direct connection to holding onto emotions. So it is not a coincidence that when I got my rosacea, yes, it's, it's gut related, but it's also fueled by emotion. It is not a coincidence that I went through a breakup that just like shook me, had family stuff going on, was sick, and was also just traveling, like not figuring out what I was doing. And I was holding in so much hurt from friendships, from ex-partners, from family stuff, everything going on. It is not a coincidence. And when people are like, I don't know, I didn't have rosacea and now I do. It's like, what has happened in your life? And not just physically, mentally, like what has happened to you recently like we all go through things everyone has a story everybody has their shit like what are you actually holding on to in here like right in this little spot where i feel like all my anxiety is rosacea can often manifest as anger that's the most common one withholding anger feeling like you can't express your anger withholding your anger just bottling it up another one can be resentment if you are resenting someone, that's why when people say like forgiveness is the best medicine, you don't have to forget, but to forgive, not for them because they did you wrong, but for yourself, forgive for yourself. Let that go because all it's going to do is eat you up inside and give you more rosacea. <laughs> the next one is self-loathing. So I genuinely ever since this got brought to my attention, I genuinely can see when I'm having a bad body image day or just a bad day or a day where like, I just wanna have a meltdown, which like, <laughs> we all have those days. Health stuff can be really overwhelming. But like when I'm having a really bad day about like self-worth or body image, I'm fine. But whenever I'm having days like that, I can literally feel the heat coming up now. It's insane. I got to see how red I am now. Ooh. Um, yeah, so self-loathing and low self-worth is a direct connection to your rosacea. And it could be from like when you're a child, it could be from when you're a teenager, it could be things that have bottled up and a triggers hit, like you took a bazillion pills that you shouldn't have, or you got sick or you got run down or you went through something, you went through a trauma. And it could just trigger that. Rosacea is so connected to the way that we feel. It's insane. And acne, yes, as well. I truly believe acne is like trying to teach us about our barriers, 
our skin is a physical barrier to our body and trying to teach us to implement our own emotional, physical, mental barriers. And the same with rosacea. It's trying to teach us something and that's why I know it sucks, but <laughs> Everything in this life is here to teach us something. And the only way you can really heal rosacea is if you start healing your mental health. I'm gonna go back on it again. But like really think into it or go and see someone. Don't be afraid to go and see someone. Like just to go in and be like, okay, I'm ready to release this built up anger or resentment or, you know, self-loathing. I'm ready to feel good about myself. I'm re ready to release this heat and this these demons that are sitting inside me. <sighs> so those are my biggest tips for rosacea, like no fragrance, no preservatives in your skincare or your makeup. That's a big one. With diet, looking into SIBO, looking into low FODMAP eating and healing your gut lining, healing your leaky gut is definitely massive. I can give you a list of foods if you want, but if you just Google low FODMAP, it will all be there. Dr. Amy Myers is super helpful. Anything inflammatory, it's an inflammatory condition. So gluten, dairy, processed food, sugars, all of those things are not gonna make it any better. Interesting for me, the correlation between the temperature of my food and rosacea actually isn't that significant. Yes, I can feel if I'm in a hot room and I have a hot soup, I get hot, but that's kind of normal. That's kind of what happens to all of us. For me, it's actually the food that I'm eating. I can eat something cold, like be a yogurt that has probiotics in it, and I'll get rosacea. That's another thing. If you have SIBO, probiotics, for me, any kind of probiotic currently still makes me worse. You have to kind of clear out the old before you can go in with the new or they all start having a fight. So that's the other thing. Be really careful with probiotics. But yeah, those are my biggest tips. Emotions and rosacea are so related. I can't express it enough. There's a reason that I cleared my acne because I put barriers in my life and I don't allow myself to be mistreated anymore. But there's a reason why I still am clearing my rosacea. It's like 90% better. The reason it's still there is because I'm still clearing these emotions. But wow, where I've come from, like <laughs> the personal growth that I have been through is incredible. So pat on the back. So those are my biggest tips for rosacea. I have almost healed myself. If I can, you can as well. I know people that have lived with it for 30 years and they've healed their gut, they've healed their SIBO, they've implemented the low inflammatory foods, they've changed their skincare, changed their makeup, and they are living a normal life. And you can too. If I can clear my acne, I can clear my rosacea. I did it all naturally and you can as well. I love you guys. You guys are amazing i really hope that i have helped in any way that i can i will do an updated makeup video because why not and i know you guys are always so interested to see my hair is growing back we love that Woo! but yeah just don't let it beat you and please 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 if you take anything from this video it's just to work on you and work on your mental health because that is where this is all festering from i guarantee when i clear that last little bit of resentment and pain and anger out of my little solar plexus i generally don't think i'll have rosacea ever again no matter what food i eat and my gut's so much better so love you guys you are amazing never forget that your skin doesn't define you but i also know how frustrating it can be and how much it runs your life so have a beautiful day. Check in again on here soon.